हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम डॉक्टर देवेश गुप्ता सीनियर प्रोफेसर एंड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियोलॉजिकल फिजिक्स इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियोलॉजिकल फिजिक्स डॉक्टर एस एन मेडिकल कॉलेज जोधपुर वी आर डीलिंग हियर विथ कैंसर पेशेंट्स द बेसिक फिजिक्स इज यूज while treating the cancer patient physics plays very important part in the treatment of the cancer now in the advanced uh, in the latest uh, development in the treatment of cancer the planning of the cases treatment planning of the patients and the proper delivery delivering the dose to the tumor is very important nowadays high tech machines are also used to treat cancer patients and as the high tech machines are used role of physics is increasing in the cancer planning part is done by the physicist so today's our objective is first introduction radiation physics and ionizing radiation biological effects of radiations radiation quantities and units radiotherapy definition and its planning technique dosimetry parameters and at the end summary now point comes what is cancer cancer is a disease caused due to uncontrolled growth of normal body cells and tissues although people of all ages develop cancer most types are common in people over the age of 50 cancer usually develop gradually over many years the result of a complex mix of environmental nutritional behavior and hereditary factors not completely known the cause of cancer but certainly lifestyle choices can dramatically reduce the risk of developing most type of cancer it is observed that good hygiene is necessary food habit proper food habit is necessary which can reduce the incidence of cancer how cancer develops a healthy human body is composed of 30 trillion cells most of which are in constant turnover as cells die and other reproduce to replace them in an ordinary fashion this cell division cycle proceeds under the regulation of the body's instinctively tuned control system this control system ensure that cells only divide when needed so that organs and tissues maintain their correct shape and size if this system fail a variety of backup safety mechanisms prevent the cell from dividing uncontrollably in order for a cell to become cancerous every one of these safety mechanism must fail classification of the tumor there are two type of tumors most of the tumors are benign means they are not cancerous benign tumors are not cancerous they can usually be removed by surgical process they do not come back to most cases they do not spread to other parts of the body and the cells do not invades other tissues their growth is not that fast as compared to the malignant tumors while on the other hand malignant tumors are cancerous 
they can invade and damage nearby tissues and organs they can metastatize that is cancer cells break away from malignant cells and enter into the blood stream or lymphatic system to f form secondary tumor in the other part of the body their growth is very fast treatment modalities of the cancer very commonly there are three treatments are used to treat cancer patients one is surgical second radiotherapy and chemotherapy there is no priority of any one in this case but it is observed that there are many tumors which are sensitive to various type of chemotherapies there are many tumors which are sensitive to radiations and there are few tumors also which are neither sensitive to chemotherapy nor sensitive to radiations they comes under surgical surgical categories in many cases where tumors are of big size they may be surgically reduced to a smaller size and then depending upon their sensitivity chemotherapy or radiotherapy can be given to the patients it has been observed over the years that approximately 75% of the cancer cases takes radiotherapy during their treatment time of the cancer with the time there are many ad advancement in the chemotherapy new type of chemotherapies have been developed which are sensitive to particular type of cancers and they have been given to the patients what is radiotherapy now question comes that how patients are treated in radiotherapy what is radiotherapy the treatment of cancer with ionizing radiation is called radiotherapy or radiation oncology it involves the administration of ionizing radiation in the form of x rays or gamma rays to the tumor site what is radiation radiation is classified into two main categories depending on the ability to ionize the matter non ionizing radiations are the radiations those who cannot ionize the medium or the matter ionizing radiations are those which ionizes the matter or the medium directly or indirectly where they travel interaction of ionizing radiation the ability to excite and ionize the energy should be more than 13.6 electron volt radiation must carry energy in excess of this magnitude to be called ionizing radiations to ionize a molecule minimum 13.6 electron volt energy is required and when this ionizing radiation moves in the or travel in the medium they interact with the atoms of the medium and deposit their energy or transfer their energy to the atoms of the medium either they excite the atom or they ionize the atom ionization is the case where the electron is been removed from its position in the atom and a pair of positive and negative ion is formed that is ionization indirect ionizing radiation radiation interact with water present in the cell then generate ions and free radicals which damage dna the example is photons neutrons when radiation interact with the human body 
which is mostly of soft tissues, contains mostly water. These radiations ionize the medium and in the process it forms free radicals. These free radicals interact with the smallest part of the body that is cell and the critical target of the cell is DNA, nucleus, cell surface, etc. When these radiations interact with DNA, they alter the arrangement of the DNA and this will change the behavior of the atom or the cell. Cell may die. There may be a DNA mutation may take place. Direct ionizing radiation. Radiation interacts with water present in the cell directly, hits and damage biomolecules like DNA, causes harmful effects. The examples are electron and alpha and protons. Biological effects of radiation. Because of this ionizing radiation, depending upon the dose absorbed or delivered to the human being, various type of biological effects are observed. Basically, biological effects are, are of two categories. One is deterministic effects and second is stochastic effects. Deterministic effects are mechanism is cells killing. Deterministic in nature means it has to be appear and the effect is certain. CVT increases with doses. As the radiation doses increases, the effect which are observed, its CVT also increases. Occurs only at high doses. There is a threshold dose and at high doses these effects are observed. Has a threshold dose can be completely avoided. These type of effects can be completely avoided by reducing the dose to the person, to the patient. Casual relationship